Welcome to my masterclass on electromagnetism. Ampere's law is one of the fundamental laws in electromagnetism. It describes the relationship between an electrical current and the magnetic field created by that current. Let me tell you about how Ampere's law was discovered, explain how it works and how we can make use of it in practice. In 1820, in the month of July, Hans Christian Ørsted, a Danish physicist, carried out experiments with a Volta pile, an early type battery that supplied current. Ørsted noticed that a compass needle moved when it came close to the current carrying conductors on his workbench. In those days, the results of physical experiments were shared and discussed in scientific societies, and what Ørsted had observed spread quickly over Europe. The Académie in Paris asked André-Marie Ampère to verify Ørsted's findings. In the summer of 1820, Ampère repeated the experiment and did some additional research as well. He placed two copper wires in parallel, let an electric current flow through the wires and discovered that the wires move towards each other when both currents flow in the same direction and move away from each other when the currents flow in opposite direction. Ampere derived a formula to calculate the forces between the current carrying conductors. This force is proportional with the current value and inversely proportional with the square of the distance between the conductors. Thanks to Ampere's experimental work, we are able to calculate the relation between the current through a conductor and the magnetic field in the space around the conductor. This relationship is known as Ampere's law. The line integral of the magnetic field vector around the single closed path is equal to the current enclosed. The magnetic field lines run in circles around the conductor and the magnetic field vector points in the direction that a corkscrew makes when it rotates in the direction of the current flow. We can also explain why two current conductors attract each other when both currents flow in the same direction. In the space between the conductors, the magnetic field lines from the two conductors cancel each other out. Both conductors still experience the force of the magnetic field at the outside and they move towards each other. Ampere also found out that when a straight piece of copper wire is bent in the shape of a turn, the magnetic field lines at the inside add up. By putting a number of turns in series, we have a coil and the magnetic field lines are multiplied. The magnetic field can be amplified even more by placing ferromagnetic material inside the coil. A coil with a ferromagnetic core is what we call an electromagnet. Ampère described the results of his experiments in his book Electricité Dynamique. Would it be possible to lift a steel block by means of electricity only? <laughs>